Hey guys, so a long time no see. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I decided to film a video again because I have a few things to talk about. Well, this video is going to be about psychology, which is a degree I actually do at university. So hopefully it's helpful for some of you that are thinking about doing psychology at university in the future, whether you're in sixth form or younger. But um, I'm here to just give you a bit of an insight into my experiences with it. So literally, let's, let's just get straight into the video. It's kind of weird speaking to a camera again because I haven't made a video in like eight months, but maybe I'll do a, a little catch up video at some point and then we can talk about kind of life stuff. But yeah, so at the moment I'm in third year I know which is crazy I mean I don't know if a lot of you have followed my YouTube journey up until this point but I started YouTube when I was 13 and now I'm 20 so it's been a long long time I used to make a lot of videos in first year and six form kind of videos and stuff like that which is crazy to think because time has gone so so quick like how am I in year three already like I'm literally graduating kind of soon but I thought this was a good time to talk about my actual degree since I've had a lot of experience with it now basically I decided to do psychology it was just kind of not a last minute thing for me but I never studied psychology in school I did not do it for my A-levels or I don't know if you can even do it for GCSE it's been so long since since then now. I kind of chose to do it on a whim. Uh, originally I wanted to do dentistry and then I changed my mind because it seemed kind of like difficult and a long road because my A-levels weren't particularly suited. I mean I did biology, chemistry, English lit uh, and business. It was like very suited for like medicine sort of and science and I didn't know if I wanted to do that anymore like I originally had planned. The next step for me was to choose psychology because with a lot of psychology degrees, for most unis, you don't need to actually do psychology. Like, you, they just accept most um, A-levels. You just need to get the correct grade that they need, obviously, but you don't need to get any specific um, like subject, right? That's why I thought psychology was a good fit for me, and I also have a personal sort of interest in psychology. Even though I never studied it before, um, I'm really heavy into mental health and crime stuff so I was thinking you know we'll see what happens um, I didn't have a complete like career set out I still don't really but the good thing is it's quite a broad subject that you know you dive into a lot of different subjects within the psychology which means you can get a lot of careers out of it so you can become like a forensic psychologist an occupational psychologist um, health I mean like clinical psychologist um, even sports and business like there's a lot of other avenues obviously I haven't reached that part where I'm you know looking for jobs and stuff but I'll try my best to obviously tell you what it's like at university itself so that was literally my decision to choose it I didn't regret choosing psychology but I wish I did a lot more research into it because a lot of the things at university kind of surprised me like I did not expect that there to be maths involved and there was actually a lot of statistics and stuff like that um, which really surprised me because I was not prepared for that. I felt a bit confused with that aspect and I still am because I'm more of an English person than maths. Even though I used to enjoy maths, um, certain parts of it at school, overall I'm quite a creative person and I like writing and that sort of thing. I mean overall psychology is a writing subject and you write a lot of essays and stuff so if you enjoy that um, more then I would say you would enjoy it a lot because even though there are exams a lot of it is uh, written coursework I don't know if it was just because of COVID but I had multiple choice question exams online like I didn't really have any um, in-person ones which definitely reduced a lot of stress for me so definitely if you're thinking about whether you should do psychology or not just kind of do a bit more research into what um, you're actually going to be learning. So obviously every university differs. Um, I go to the University of Brighton. On my university's website, it had like year one, year two, year three and the different topics you could choose from, like the modules. So that's how I kind of had an idea of what I'd be learning about specifically. But I definitely recommend to look at that. So yeah, the actual degree itself is very, very broad. Like you learn about so many different things um, within psychology and loads of theories and things. It is definitely a lot of information to remember but the thing is it seems quite overwhelming you don't need to like learn about every single aspect because to be honest at the end of the day as long as you get the grades in your assignments and stuff like it's fine because obviously you learn about so many different things but your assignment is only about one of those things so as long as like you kind of learn about the other things and focus on the specific things that you enjoy uh, and do really well at those in your exams and assignments. I mean, exams you need to know most things, but I mean, the assignments you need to like just choose one topic overall. So as long as you can do really well on that topic, then you'll do well. But yeah, definitely a good thing to note is that you do learn a lot of information 
and it can be a little bit overwhelming at times so it's just important to take that into account. Also, I would recommend to do research on your university wisely because there's um, certain universities that are accredited um, I forgot exactly what it's called. I think it's BPS accredited. If you want to get a job in psychology in the future, um, you need to go to a university that is accredited for psychology so you can actually have a good career um, when you're looking for jobs. So do a bit of research on that as well. And one thing I didn't actually know was that you can't become a psychologist after your undergraduate degree ends. So like after I graduate this third, in my third year um, next year, um, I can't become a psychologist, which seems kind of crazy that I did not know that. I only found out when I came to uni. It's quite a long-minded um, subject to study because in order to become a psychologist, you need to do a master's after, which is a postgraduate degree. And then you can do a doctor after that as well, depending on what you want to do. Obviously, um, there are different career paths and certain ones take longer than others of course and for a lot of these careers you need work experience as well and i haven't done any yet i'm thinking maybe after i graduate or during my master or something like that i still have time i'm trying not to stress it too much but it will definitely put you ahead of other people because it is quite a um competitive subject so going into the maths part again there are statistical tests like if you've done biology it's basically a lot of those tests as well as you know uh, quantitative and qualitative research you need to do both obviously i prefer qual because it's um you know wordy and there's no numbers and stuff but if you, if you prefer that then obviously that could be a good option for you it's honestly personal preference of course but of course do keep in mind that you need to do both of these so it's a lot of things that you kind of might not really enjoy um, but you need to do it because that's the nature of biology, not biology, that's the nature of psychology. It, as I said, it's very broad, so you learn about a multitude of different things. And to be honest, um, marking is kind of strict. Uh, obviously, as I said, I can't really um, give my opinion of other unis because all I have experienced mine. But I would say it's kind of um, hard with any essay-based subject. Obviously, it's not like factual most of the time. So you kind of need to um, look at the marking criteria and adhere to that. Um, really cr critically evaluate a lot of these things you need to do. So it does take a bit of practice, but obviously I'm not trying to discourage you from this as well. I think a lot of careers are similar in this way so one good thing about doing a psychology degree though is that it's very flexible as I said you can go for different career paths like I still don't know exactly what I want to do but I know that I want it to be like psychology based so I might go into forensic I might go into uh, clinical or counseling I'm still not completely sure but the good thing is I can still figure out and I still have time you know because at the moment I'm just trying to focus on getting the good grades um, I don't need to go into specifics yet. A psychology degree is also good for you if you enjoy working amongst people you're first hand working alongside people and helping them um, which I really like compared to like an office job or something um, which I'm sure you can still do with psychology degrees as I said it's very broad and flexible but that's one thing to consider. Overall it will give you good knowledge and experience for life like whoever finds out I do psychology is like oh you're not like analyzing me right now you're not figuring out like what um, what mental illnesses I have and it's so not like that this is a common misconception but there's so many different things like, at the moment I'm doing my dissertation which is looking very difficult because it is about like 9,000 words but you know slowly but surely we're getting there I have time to do it so I'm not stressing out about it but I'm doing two other modules at the moment I'm doing mood and anxiety disorders and children and I'm doing forensic psychology. So there's a lot of different things. Next year, um, when the new term starts, I'm doing um, psychology of poverty. I'm doing critical addiction studies. I hope that is enough information for you uh, and I hope it helps. If you have any more questions for me regarding psychology degrees, then please do comment down below and I'll answer it as soon as I can. Hopefully I'll get back to posting some videos soon. If you want to see any specific kind of videos like study with me's and stuff because I'm doing my dissertation and I have to start a few other assignments at the moment, then do let me know. It'll be nice to film and get into it again. I used to be so creative and YouTube was a creative outlet for me and um, since I've come to uni I feel like I've just be become so busy like no one tells you when you're at uni you just kind of drop all your creative things because um, my mind kind of goes to studying only so it's a little bit annoying but so if you don't mind if you like this video please do subscribe and like the video as well and I'll see you in my next video bye